In this video we are looking at finding the distance between two points on a graph. So just to recap, you do need to be able to work through the Pythagoras theorem. So you basically use this theorem to find any side length in a right angle triangle. So first thing you need to be able to do is to label this triangle. It's so important that the hypotenuse is labelled correctly. That has to be C. The other two can be A or B, it doesn't matter, as long as your hypotenuse is C. The second thing is knowing what the actual Pythagoras theorem is. So it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So to apply this to finding the distance between two points, you do use the Pythagoras theorem. So here is an example. So find the distance between points A and B, where A is 2, 3 and B is 7, 8. So sometimes you can draw a visual and that really helps. So here's my visualization of this. It doesn't have to be particularly accurate if you're in an exam situation. And then try to tuck in a triangle. Now you'll notice you've tucked in a right angle triangle. So now write down the height and the base and now you can label your right angle triangle with A, B and C. Now use the Pythagoras theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Sub in your A value and your B value, which is five. Five squared is 25. So 25 add 25 is 50. So C squared equals 50. So to find C, because we have C squared at the moment, you just need to square root your C value. So the value of C, the distance between these two points, is the square root of 50. The question asked to 2dp, so C is 7.07. .07. Now we're going to do the exact same question, but we're going to do it using a formula. So the formula is again applying the Pythagorean theorem and this is the formula that you're going to use. It looks a little bit complicated, but essentially it's saying, find the difference in the x's, square it, find the difference in the y's, square it, add them and square root. So basically just plug into this equation. So x2 is seven, x1 is two, y2 is eight, y1 is three, seven take away two is five, eight take away three is five, asking us to square it, Again, 5 squared at 5 squared is 50. And so when you square root 50, you get 7.07. .07. So you got the same answer using both methods. I prefer the first method, which is to visualize it. Um, but either way will get you the marks in the exam. And that's it.